Welcome into the semi-final of the 50-over competition. Hopefully the final as well. Taking on the Windward Islands Cricket Club. The, Lee, uh, the Leeward Islands had a roller coaster of a pull where we got through virtual three wins and three losses. Lost to basically everyone in that group once and beat them once. Uh, we were a lot more clinical in the final two games. And I think that's put us in good stead. We've got a pretty settled lineup. Uh, let's get straight into it, shall we? So... Yeah, Foster and Hooper will open up. The reason why Hooper's in the team are uh, just for that bowling, and he just proved 5 for 48. I think he's a very handy cricket this man. Uh, so that's a good person to have in the uh, lineup going forward. Uh, so opening up with Foster. Foster's had a solid campaign, 250 is an average of 46. I think Paul and Paul and Carson Murray are key men um, with Jamal Brown. The 3, 4, and 5 have got exceptional averages. Mitchell's been out of touch. You've got to keep him in there, though. He's the best... Um, Wiki we've got Andre Gittins. It's shown Flash is a brilliance. He's done a wee bit with the bat and ball. Chad Peter is getting a um, game over Azari Joseph. Azari Joseph's just not in form at the moment. So you have to go Ch uh, Chad Peters. The Mitchells, uh, they've done a relatively good job together. Uh, Rumdas has been relatively mixed as well. Do we take a punt and play Azari Joseph in the final? Overcut. We're going to play Joseph. We're going to play an all seam attack. Um, we've got an off spinner, Carson Murray, if we have to go that area. So, Joseph will make the uh, final cut. I think that's not a bad move. Ramdas hasn't had a good campaign. And we'll have to um, trust this team here to do the job against a pretty good Winwood Island side. who have been in great form. Uh, good, Some good players. <laughs> Probably want to chase here. Yeah, we've been put into bat. So, that's been that's pretty rough. Just got to get off to a good start. Just do what we've been doing the last few games. Set it around 280-300. And see if our um, very good bowling unit can do the job. Hooper's gone. That's a good delivery from Brown. It is Shelton Brown who plays a little bit for the Leeward Islands. Handy, hand to have. And they've got Gerard Ali. Who's played um, for the West Indies, bizarrely, with those averages. No, we lost two early wickets. So a good decision to put us in here, the Winwood Islands. Carson Murray and Palton Paul. Gonna have to do a bit of a recovery job. They've done a lot in this campaign, these two. Bit of an edgy sort of shot. Rookie one for two. He's had away for four. Two early wickets. It's really set us back. 39 for 2. Definitely the Windward Islands first 10 overs. They've been in good areas. They're f drawing some false shots. So we've just got to set our sights back um, as long as we can. And just rebuild the innings. These two are absolutely essential to our cause. Going to be very important. Come on, Paul. Just going to dig deep. 18 of 32, three boundaries. One six here for Murray in his 16. Rocks off the back foot. That's a great shot. Three, four, and five for the Leeward Islands. Essential for them to get a big score. Set away for four. It's a good, good cricket from Paul. 28 or 37. 22 or 25 for Murray. And a wee bit of good recovery rope being done. Who's 35, Powton Paul. 23 or 27 for Carson Murray. And just getting into the groove of things now at the Leeward Islands. Those are the early knockbacks of a few wickets. Two. Oh, that's a bit of a dicey shot, but the hundred's up. 21st over. Treating stage of this game. Windward Island starting well, and the Leeward Islands just getting back into this, just with a good partnership. And just, yeah, it's just good cricket, just playing all around the ground, working ones, old boundary. It's a good shot. Raced away for the boundary. 
back in Cornwall. Key man. Both on 48, these players. And that is 50 for Carson Murray. That's another classy innings from the captain. He is a very, very good player. Old Powden Paul gets a bit of a dicey, dicey one there. He, he just nurdles that away. He's taken on the field of there. He will be successful getting his half century as well. So you can see their campaigns uh, together. Like 350s and 100 average of 76 for Powden Paul. And uh, Carson Murray has uh, really found a groove here. 350s and 100 average of 59. And a very good strike rate as well. So they've just got to keep nurdling it round. Put the team into a strong position. Want to go all the way in this competition. Reverse sweep is out. It's a controlled reverse sweep. It's a good shot. So just demonstrating how to bat on this uh, pitch. Another record partnership between Paul and Murray. Be a bit worried if you're the Windward Islands. Just the runs are starting to um, come convincingly with the bats. 144 for two after 30. Be looking at around that 280, 300 mark, and that's a score. It's a score on the board that can put heat on. Just gotta make sure we need 200 going into the uh, 40th. Kiwi period again. Just gotta keep the consolidation going. Good shot. It's picking, picking the moments pretty well here. 79 off 85 for Murray. 59 off 80 for Powton Paul. Paul has been just kept quiet in that over and a maiden over. A wicket maiden for Brown. 59 off 80. Jamal Brown in now. Just got to do some work here with um, Carson Murray. Can't afford to lose Carson Murray, really. That is a key man at the crease and he's gone wrecking Cornwall strikes and a couple of daggers just setting the Leeward Islands back just gonna have to set ourselves on a score 280 is definitely possible just need a partnership some experienced heads here hopefully they can lift shot from Walton Mitchell. This is a pretty tricky service to bat on, I'd say, with it being overcast and threatening the rain. And we need one of those Pelton or uh, Carson to get um, to that 100 there, and that just hasn't happened. Keeper um, is very capable, very aggressive cricketer. Belton Mitchell's 20 out of 16. It's really up the gears. Just trying to get um, trying to get this Leeward Islands score up to a pretty substantial one. And he's playing the gem of a knock here. Finding the gaps. Just making sure we're at minimum we're getting a single. Three for four. It's just another good platform. Seven hours remaining. Can we get 60 odd and set up a pretty interesting semi final? It's been excellent for Mitchell. Yeah. Jamal Brown, 21 of 24, doesn't sound too special as well. Worked a partnership in, and that's been the key. I'd say that's a very valuable innings from Jamal Brown. 21 of 26. Andre Giddens now. Got to look for some uh, fireworks. He'll be out as well. He's out for a duck. So good fight back here. Just got to make sure we bat the overs. Get ourselves into that dangerous zone of a score. And that's 50 for Welton Mitchell. Chad Peters. And Chad Peters with a maximum. Brilliant. Need 
Another key part to four hours remaining. Been a, it's been a good um, contest between bat and ball in this innings. Eight off seven for Chad Peters. He's played a bit of a role. It's been a handy role from the um, number um, eight here. This is an incredibly good um, Babel knock. 271 for six. Two overs remaining. Just shows if we bat the 50, we get a score on the board and we really challenge. 21 for six. Be a bit of a lackluster finish though. 283 for seven. Mitchell with a very, very cool uh, 70 of 49, six fours, five sixes. 50 to Paul and Murray as well, and 283 for seven is competitive at the end of the day against the Leeward Islands. Brown bowled quite well, three for 37 in his spell. Minley, two for 47. And yeah, Graves and Cornwall took a bit of stick, but um, overall they'll be happy. Both teams will be happy with how they went. Good partnership between Paul and Murray. Brown and Mitchell combined for 68. 45 for Mitchell and Peters as well. And you can see the run rate. The run was pretty constant. We would have tariffs towards the end. And now they got to do a job with the ball. Just got to get in the right channels. Hopefully we can cause some issues. Mitchell, even though it's been a very terrible over, Horace is gone. 15. Grace Mitchell will just go back of a lens. Let's get into good areas. I think that's the key for our bowlers. Emilius has gone too. This is, these two are a really good opening combination. They don't give anything away. It just puts heat on the um, batsman. Coming in. We'll bowl these two a wee bit more here. I'm just going to be adventurous and try to get through some more overs. And Race Mitchell's amongst it too. That is a great delivery. Terrible shot from Savory. Trapped LBW for five. Mitchell two for 26. Continue on. And that'll be the end of the spell. 63, 69 for three after 14. It's a pretty interesting game at the moment. Chad Peters coming into bowl. Will Chad Peters extrapolate any pace out of the pitch? He's a clever, crafty bowler. We need some wickets from him today. Uh, Hooper. Will come in. 78 for 3 after 15. And Hooper gets the wicket of lug. That's a key blow again. It's gone for 9. Chin in now. Peter's bowls a maiden. 4 is my maiden. None for 20. 4 is 1 for 22 for Hooper. Pretty good spell. Andre Gittins in. goes for four. Joseph, Azari Joseph now. This is a big chance to showcase why he's in the West Indies team and why he's so good to have at this club. He's got to deliver today. He's got to get a, something out of the um, team there. And he's immediately delivered. Frederick's gone. Azari Joseph wasn't going to re originally pick in this game. Picked at the very last moment. He's struck at a key time. And he's done it again. Good stuff, Azari Joseph. Heat's really on now. Six wickets down. Chin on 38. Kim Chin is a pretty good one-day specialist. We're going to try and get the wicket, uh, the wicket required here. We're going to bowl our main two for two overs. Try and bust this partnership open. Get the game into a winnable state for us. 169 for 6 after 34. 115 at 7.1. Chin 48. Raking Cornwall batting low. Very experienced Raking Cornwall. Good cricketer in this situation. So we'll rotate Mitchell on that out. Chad Peters will probably come back into the um, attack. Number 20 off his spell. He's been pretty disciplined today. Hooper will come in for a couple of overs. Pretty good game starting to play out here. 
who's going to break the punch. 100 at 8.3. These two are building something here. We've got to get Zari Joseph back in. Might change the um, point of attack. Just try and attack their body a little bit. And Azari Joseph. It immediately works. The old bait and switch. <laughs> Took it across Cornwall. The wicket has been taken. Joseph has turned up today. Andre Gittins will come into the attack. We've got to rotate. Azari Joseph. What a time to step up. 79 at 9.8. This game is not over yet. This is a good one on Ireland's side. Ring race Mitchell in now. Just got to get into a good area. And hopefully we can take another wicket. One, none for one for 38. A good day at the office for race Mitchell. Very economical. 71 at 10.1. 11 off it. Sorry, Joseph. We've got to be innovative again. Short pitch. Chin is doing a relatively good job on that side. 60 at 10. This is a very good game. Very expensive, Joseph, in that inning. Uh, in that um, particular over. We need a wicket again. Who's going to be the inspiration? Ali. 42 off 24. Gerard Ali. Sorry, Joseph. Can we get the wicket? I'm going to drag it out, make them play a wee bit to our field, ideally. 26 of 18 it is pretty much a game for the Winwood Islands now. They've fought back. Chad Peters, um, Hooper. I think Hooper is a man that can get a wicket in crisis, hopefully. He does. He gets the wicket of chin, and this game is on a knife edge. Gone for 81. Good innings from chin. He's dragged this game into the possibility for the Winwood Islands. Hooper again. He strikes. What a call from Carson Murray to bring Hooper on. 261 for 9. Joseph, he'll be taken out of the attack. Chad Peters is in. 11 and over required. I'm going to drag it out here. We just got a bowl to that field. Decent over here, but it's over. We are in the final. What a game of cricket. Performance, a narrow win for the Leeward Islands. 271 all out. Just at enough the bat. That innings from Mitchell. The bowling from Hooper towards the end. 3 for 35. Zari Joseph, even though it's expensive. Three crucial wickets. Federick's. Got the wickets of Graves and Cornwall at key times. Had to be had to be on top of our game there and we have got over the line we're in the final who are we playing and it will be guana cricket club who have defeated uh barbados by two runs that was a thrilling game as well 318 for nine that was really close so two good teams in the final uh we got enough to go all the way here hooper has done a great job with the um ball he has to stay on the team even if he's kind of filling in spot up there now we keep our keep our line up the same we Pretty much have to trust Azari Joseph, I think, to come right. We will be able to spin. No, we will take on. We're at home, and we'll just stick with the same team that got us here. So they've been putting. They put us in the bat. Just got to set a score again. Give ourselves a shot. Foster's been a wee bit out of form. Hooper to get some runs. Got to set the platform again. Thrilling um, episode of cricket finals cricket um we have not won a trophy yet in the 51 yet we want to win it hooper's gone it's unfortunately for 11 palton paul in now relied a lot on palton this um campaign just to get some big scores managed to do it foster is going to survive Like 280 was enough in that semi final. Ramps it away. That's all the way for six. Foster, two maximums in the over. Moves to 16 or 14. Just gotta make sure we get the foundations going though. It's a good shot from Paul. Gets that away for four. Place that butte. 
beautifully, beautifully and eloquently uh, way Kevin Sinclair. I'm in. 56 and 1 after 10. A good start for the Leeward Islands. Beautiful shot from Pelton Paul. It's been the theme of the last few games. The Leeward Islands have found a bit of a groove, found a bit of a pattern to their success. Or two too much aggressive I think in those um, early games and it's resulted in some terrible um, batting performances and now it's just toning down the aggression a bit and picking our moments a bit more and it's really paid off really happy with the adjustments that have been made we've got a very good um, settled 11 a mess. Just to get that away for four and this partnership starting to build. A lot of um, expectation on the young fella. He's going about his business very quietly. He's a 45 or 46, four fours, two sixes. Played out a maiden. That's okay at the stage, I suppose. It has been tightened up a wee bit. Just want to keep it above fives. And bring up a hard fought half century. Good innings from Foster. Throw 50 of the campaign. Relatively good job with uh, Pelton Paul. A lot of dot balls starting to form in the Leeward Islands innings, though. We've been very successful finding the singles. And the pressure off all time record for Paul and Foster here. So a bit of aggression here um, for Foster just since the 50's been bought up. And that's 50 again from Powden 4. He's in incredible form at the moment. Incredible form. A good player. If average of 50 uh, in 26 games. That is definitely something the West Indies should be looking at. Been very consistent. The batting form has been outstanding. Like he missed a game um, in the campaign. He's been given an opportunity. Actually delivering in the campaign so far. He's going to lift, lift the gears a wee bit. He might, must be very much part time. Up, up it a wee bit on him. Good stroke again. Bound, um, boundaries are just coming off the bats regularly. Oh, very much part time. Got to respect that though. That's a good shot from Pound. Just driving. He's been driving nicely all campaign really. Forty-five for one. It's Foster plays a beautiful drive. Good partnership starting to form between these two. Okay, let's do some over some Hitmire. It's an interesting one. But he's got the wicket though. He's picked up the wicket of Foster. Foster trapped LBW. He's gone for 76. Carson Murray in now. Carson Murray be looking to play himself in. Oh, that is just something you don't want to look at really. A bad misfield. Good delivery from Hitmeyer. Part timer getting some rip and revolutions on the ball. It's a pretty um, dicey shot there from Parson Murray. He gets away with it. Rocks off the back foot. 168 for two now. Throw to third over. That's a glorious shot. That's too short from Hemmeyer. That is part-time bowling at its finest. And just a few leaky runs in that over. Surely they'll be taking Shemron Hitmeyer off. Sinclair has been quite good. Just got to respect Sinclair. He is a very good um, spinner at this domestic level. Uh, 
Gus and Murray just gets there past the diving slip. Bit of an unorthodox shot. We're not advised to do that with the slip in place. Pelton gets that away for four more. Closing on the 200. Here is the possibility of getting to 300 in this innings. Just got to continue the good work. It's been a good over from Sinclair so far, but he's just ruined it with the boundary coming off that delivery. Turned it up. Pelton Paul moves into the 90s. Just trying to get to that 40th over, I think. The Leeward Islands now before they launch. This is good batting. Carson Murray's just come in, done a job with Pelton Paul, and he's contributing some magnificent runs in this campaign. He moves to 31 of 25, 215 for two. And now we can launch. 99 is Pelton at the other end, Murray. He's miscued that Murray and he's out. He'll go for 34 of 32. A good a good accumulation of an innings. Three for three. We've got to make sure we don't lose wickets and bumps here. It's no ball. That's not what you want to see if you're a moti. Bit of an edge. And ground come in and play that role that we love to see him play. A few boundaries would be nice. Coming off the bats. Oh, that's a good shot. Shepard, a good fight back here from the Guana Cricket Club. 11 off 7. Well, to Mitchell, where he was sublime in the last game. It was the difference between the two sides. It's interesting, like, not getting away in the last 10 as I wanted to. Yeah. 42 for 4. And that, that this is much better. Mitchell has... Seen a few deliveries. And he will be out now. So 2 for 46 for 5. Out for 11 off 7. Pelton Paul desperately looking to get that single to get that 100. And he will get 100 in the final. Pelton Paul, take a bow. What a campaign you've had. You've delivered um, a score in the final when we really needed it. And we Need someone to get a cameo towards the end here, and we've got another competitive score on our hands. Fastest hundred in against Guana. That's really surprising. Fourth hundred, second hundred of the campaign. Three fifties, nearly five hundred runs in the campaign. Yeah, this is taking we were trying to get his eye in. Ten off seven. Two sixty-two for five after uh, forty-five. It's just crunched uh, to the boundary. Too short again, and Giddens takes control of that. This is the cameo we needed. 21 off 12. That's a cracking delivery. Uh, really unplayable. A couple of wides in the over, though. And it's just resulted in another positive over for the Leeward Islands. Oh, he's just run out his partner there. That is a terrible run. Out for 22 of 14 is Giddens. Chad Peters. 262 for 6. And Peters gets all of that and more. That's a good stroke. 300 would be a great score in the finals. Really happy how we've gone about our work. And this is a cameo of a very important nature for Chad Peters. 13 of 5. Two overs remaining. Pelton Paul, can he get hold of Moti here? Moti's bowled quite well. It's a Skyer, and that's out. Pelton will be out. Gone for 111 off 115. A brilliant innings in the final. 16 fours and a six. Did a brilliant job. Zoe Joseph. Can he find the uh, fence? Just to get that score above 300 will be a feel good factor in the team. He'll be out for naught. 298 for eight. Jim Peter 
is can he scramble a couple of um, late strokes? That's hit a ball. And 300 up for the Leeward Islands. And this is a monumental score in the final. Oh, this is a fantastic innings from Chad Peters. He's gone, though. He has gone for a valuable 24 of 13. So Giddens and Peters doing a great job towards the end. Last delivery of the innings. And Mitchell will hit that away for four. 310 for nine. A super competitive score. And a very confident Leeward Island side. It was a nice effort from Moti. He was he was actually the pick of the bowlers. Gutekesh Moti. He's a handy bowler at um, test one day and um, handy across all facets of the game. They didn't bowl badly or anything. We j just kept um, building some foundations. That Foster and Paul partnership was really good. Murray come in and done a good job as well. Brown, Mitchell, Giddens and Peters put on some fireworks, which was great. So we've got to give ourselves a chance. Just going to bowl in the good channels and hope for some early strikes. Race Mitchell, he will strike early. The wicket of Springer. He's gone for five. Hitmeyer will be the key man. We need to strike him out. 42 for one after 10. Going to bowl a little bit more aggression here. Chad Peters coming in. Five Azari Joseph. Just a couple of very tight overs here. And just with force the air, Abraham is trapped LBW. Good to, good spell from Chad Peters. Gone for 27 off 48. Hit Myra 36 off 56, though. That's the man we want out. will come in he's a bit of a dicey call here we've got to get through some part um we've got to get through the all-rounders really three over stun for 31 hitmeyer is really launching into this one 88 um runs at 7.8 required we have to bring back our main weapons we have to come in and strike and strike a couple of times to get this game back in control mitchell back in as well i'm gonna force that run rate up Get Myra looking good. 65 or 79. Finally, we've got a strike. Hit Myra is gone. But the Kamana Cricket Club looking good in this final. 87 off 95. The wicket has been broken. Partnership's been broken. Giddens will come in. Didn't bowl too badly in his first lot of overs. Mandal uh, from India. Baldiv Mandal. 100 in the campaign. Chad Peters. So good we um, game starting to form up again. Get him strikes. Needed that wicket. Im Larch is gone. He's gone for 39. Tevin Im Lark. Let him lark. Uh, Got to get Mandel out now. He looks like the man that could fire up this innings. 104 runs at 8 and over. 40 off 19 at the moment. We will have to bowl pretty cleverly here. Going to change the angles. Gittins out of the attack. Peters will come back in. 35 of his spell. 213 for a 4. Chad Peters, he's got the wicket. Very expensive over though. We're going to have to get some really good strikes in this last wee patch. Going to tone the aggression down a wee bit again. It's Mandel, 53 off 24 is the man we need to get out. Really desperate to get him out. 73 at 7.3 and over. Going to have to bowl the aces in the pack, I think, now. Just give ourselves a shot. And he's got the wicked Mitchell. That's a huge blow. Mandel, he was taking the game away. 56 of 28. Very good innings. Six fours and two sixes. Junior Sinclair now. He's the man that we've got to keep an eye out for now. And Mitchell was struck twice in the over. Another expensive over, though, however. He's got Shepard. Shepard gone for 10 of 3. And we'll bring back Mitchell at the other end. 
Jay Mitchell that is. 62 at 6.8 required, three wickets remaining. And that man Mitchell, he's an X-Factor player this man, he's got another wicket. Forty six at seven point six required. We've got the bowling resources probably to sneak through. We had to get through the Andre Gittins over. I think that's the key over we need to get through. He's bowled a four run over. That's a great over to get through. Joseph into the attack. It's gonna be a very tight finish this one. Twenty eight off twenty four. We need to strike again somehow. We need to wick it. Chad Peters into the um attack. Peters can't strike 20 off 18. Hooper. Hooper did in the, um, one of the games before. We'll put the field out. 12 off 12. Oh, we need a wicket. Chad Peters has to up the aggression. 3 off 6. It's over. We have lost a thrilling game of cricket here. We need to find the uh, wicket. Early in the over, I'd say. This is the highlights. And it's over. Kiwana Cricket Club have won a thriller. They have taken the final. We finished runner-up yet again in the one-day cup. Gut-wrenching. A great partnership towards the end. Has got them over the line. Moti with a very important 26 or 21 with his four wickets. Was man the match. Did we actually win it last time? We may have won it. Yeah, we did. We won it last time. We fell just short. We couldn't go quite back-to-back. -back. We're a bit gutted about that. So we will have a... No, we were a runner-up. We're a winner of our group. So two runner-up um, placings. And now we're into the four-day competition. So we'll play the second game on uh, the four-day competition, the fourth game of this campaign. So you guys will be here for the very interesting games of the four-day competition. Trinidad and Tobago and Guana Cricket Club are our teams of choice. Smash the like button, share with a friend, and we'll see you next time for more Leeward Island Cricket.